Hey guys, we are here at Mercedes-Benz of Grapevine with this 2021 Mercedes-Benz Metris Cargo Van. It is, uh, well, nothing too special. Just a regular cargo van. Uh, kind of the smaller version of the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. Um, sort of like a, a minivan. Um, and I'm not going to get into like, the cargo area. But that's really what this car is meant to be. And they do sell a passenger version of this. So you'll see everything's really just based on the car. It's not like a luxurious Mercedes like you'll find, you know, in other uh, models. Like, well, any other model in this lot. This is just a base Mercedes van. Uh, again, the Metris. Um, so yeah, up front you can see, uh, I do believe these are like halogen headlamps, uh, with your, uh, chrome accents on the grill, and then you have your Mercedes-Benz 3-planet star, um, which looks really good. Um, you can see Continental tires and your rims as well, nothing too special there. And the uh, mirrors are just black plastic. They do have a blind spot monitor which will light up if you uh, have a car in your blind spot. It'll light up and uh, tell you basically that there is a car in your blind spot. And then around the back, you have your Metris badging, your Mercedes badge as, as well. And then your tail lamps as well. Just a regular van. Nothing different from like a Ford Transit or something. So you can see here's your sticker. So it was assembled in Charleston, South Carolina. But the engine and transmission, the engine comes from the USA, but the transmission is from Germany. Most of the parts are actually from Spain, which is kind of weird. Uh, here are all of your options. You can see nothing, nothing too special about this cargo van. It is really, really cold, so I'm. It's gonna be a little windy. And here's the interior of the van. You can see, again, not a very special interior at all. Uh, you just have these cloth seats. Uh, you do have armrests, so I can bring those up and down. And uh, One thing that's surprising is I do have heated seats in here, so that's a, that's a really good option. Uh, but again, brand new, 2021, even though it is 2022, 2021. Uh, so this leather on the steering wheel is brand new. You can see they're still wrapping uh, on that screen there. Um, yeah, the seats aren't horribly, uh, you know, uncomfortable. In fact, they're actually kind of comfortable. Obviously, you're not going to get, you know, the standard features that you'd expect in a Mercedes. Uh, you have on the door here, this plastic, plastic down here. And then you do have your power window controls with your mirror controls. You do have headlamp controls down there uh, with your parking brake, which is foot operated, which is kind of surprising considering this, that this is a new car. Um, something that, you know, might be, uh, uh, you know, a standard feature in new cars these days. Although this is a very base car. And, uh, I don't know if this is real leather on the steering wheel. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, it's very, very hard compared to what is on other Mercedes, uh, steering wheels. But you do have your, uh, electronic shifter, gear selector. So it's, uh, down for drive, up for reverse, in for park, and then 
below this point of his resistance is neutral. You also do have paddle shifters with uh, chrome inserts in them. Uh, you know, you don't have keyless go or anything. That's uh, not an option in this car. I don't know what this is. And that just, that screen just turned on for some reason. Um, up here you have your uh, mirrors. Uh, you do have your overhead console up here with your reading lights, uh, which is nice, I guess. And then you have your papers, and I don't even know what that is. Uh, so, uh, yeah, overall, a really, really nice uh, van. Just something that would usually be used for just transporting cargo and goods and all that other stuff. I know this review has been short. There's not much to go over. Uh, I wasn't able to figure out how to get into the uh, cargo space. Um, but yeah, it's a cold day here at Mercedes-Benz of uh, Grapevine. Thank you guys for watching. Um, have a great spring break. I'm actually out for spring break. So have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.